So I want to touch on the topic of effective selling without actually feeling like you are, are selling. But before I actually get started with um, sharing a little bit about this particular topic, one of the things I want to, to talk about, I want to address is the fact that a lot of entrepreneurs and small business owners are actually afraid to sell. And it's really baffling to think about that. You are in business. And if you're in business, you have to be in business to, yes, make an impact on people, but also an income. And selling is just one of those things that you, you have to be able to do and not be afraid to do it. Where we find most of this happening is in the online space. And primarily the reason why this happens is because there's been a lot of conditioning around selling and making selling seem like it's something that's dirty, something that's evil. And unfortunately, selling has gotten a bad reputation um, really just based on because there are those in the online space who have really done just horrific uh, guerrilla style marketing and and really aggressive marketing and, and and selling and just in a very unconscious way. And it really has made not just the consumers um, uncomfortable, but also other entrepreneurs who are scared that they're going to come off like that as well. And they don't want to be perceived in that way. So something that I want to address in terms of being effective, the first step in being effective in selling is being authentic and being real and knowing what your intentions are as it relates to providing value in the marketplace, making an impact on others and also an income. So you have to start with that basis of being authentic and knowing what your true intentions are and be able to have that encased in your marketing agenda okay as you're putting things out there as you are selling right so being authentic knowing what your intentions are and your core values is going to be the number one chief cornerstone primary um, I would say effectiveness um, aspect of effectiveness as it relates to selling so I talked a little bit about not being afraid to sell okay just because other people are out there doing things that seem to be very um, misaligned with the true intention of selling you can't get caught up in that thinking that everybody's going to perceive you to be the same way of course you can take different steps in how you approach um, the selling aspect okay and then when you see something that you don't really like or you don't really appreciate you already know you're not doing that, right? And you're not triggered because you're doing the same thing. You're triggered by it because you know that it's a misaligned way of how to handle effective customer care and to draw in prospects, right? So when you see that, you don't even have to go down the road of being very judgmental about it. Just know that you're doing something different, but don't allow that to stop you from actually showing up and providing opportunities for people to participate in their own level up with the value that you provide okay and that does involve selling so i want to come back to the whole aspect again about being scared to sell now i'm going to say something and it may sound a little bit candid but there's a little bit of psychological or, or mental lunacy there we're not talking about a hobby. We are talking about being in business. You're being in business. Business means that you're in business to make a profit unless you're a nonprofit and you're just in the business of being charitable. But when you're in business as an entrepreneur, as a small business owner, or just in business in general, you have to be about making a profit, all right? That doesn't have to be the only thing, but then you really have to ask yourself, you have to examine your thoughts around this. How much sense does it make if you're afraid to actually put yourself out there and start offering opportunities? There, that doesn't make any sense. And why is there the fear around this? Because let me say this, those who have created the bias for others to be afraid and feel like that's, you know, something sinful, something bad. They're not operating from those same rules that they're given to you. 
because they're making their profits and they're making their money and they're doing things sometimes even under the radar, even if they aren't putting it out there publicly for you to see it, to make it seem like they're just being inspirational and yes, we're not about selling and all this, this, that, and that. But it's what you don't see in terms of what they are doing in other cases. You don't know that they're not overloading and overwhelming people's inboxes with their messages, chronic email marketing, all these different things. So they have their ways, but you don't need to get caught up in that. It goes back to what I said about being effective with being authentic in knowing your intentions. You have to encase everything that you do around that, okay? Also, too, examining your soul, okay, and knowing that deep in your soul, you know that you want to be of service, and when you're being of service, there has to be the divine right value exchange in the marketplace. The win-win for the customer or the consumer and the service provider. You need to be effectively compensated and well compensated for who you are and for what you do, what you provide. So with that, in terms of being able to look at what your offers are and the opportunities and to put those out there. And sometimes you're going to have to make the adjustments in your mindset in terms of how you show up in doing that. Sometimes you have the perfect offer and the opportunity for people to participate in. But if you actually have that vibration of being afraid to sell and to put things out there to sell and to market yourself and to advertise yourself, that's repelling. It is repelling the opportunities for the people who really need what you have, they can't even sync up with you because of that vibration. So making an adjustment, because even in this series, I've been talking a lot about adjusting your sale and your sale as you are navigating the seas of success as it relates to being an entrepreneur, being a business owner and selling and being effective with your selling. So as I mentioned about authenticity and then also to examining your soul and, and knowing what your pure intentions are to be a service provider. You have to show up in these ways. I could sit here and I could give you tons of tips of how to go about doing X, Y, and Z. But the main thing is that it's going to come back to you and you examining yourself, who you are, and how you want to show up and participate as a service provider provider, right? So those are adjustments that have to be made in order to be effective. Now, my empowerment and encouragement to you during this time is to be extremely present with the opportunities that you have for others and, and realize that you cannot withhold these greater gifts, opportunities and services, these offers that people, they need those. Because why were you called to business and service in the first place if it's not to put it out there for people to experience it? So that's the thing of examining that it's ludicrous to think that you don't need to be selling. But it is just the way that you do it. And the thing about it is you can ask higher guidance, source, God, however you see that for yourself. What, what is my most aligned way to sell? What is the effective way so that I can be in integrity? Not just integrity with my core values, but also integrity with the calling itself. Integrity with the people who actually need these services, who these services were provided for, who they were created for, right? So we have to think about those things, and those are the adjustments that have to be continuously made. Different shifts have to be made. And each new level is going to require a different level of you. And that's where most entrepreneurs have to really step up their game. All right? And not just this mindset, but in this way of beingness. All right? And knowing you are not the sleazy salesman or however. That's not who you are. It's not what you were called to do. And even some of those who are doing it, that's not what they were called to do. And they probably didn't start off being that way. 
but they sort of got caught up in what they see kind of traditionally happen. And because it is working for them to some extent, for sure, then they keep building momentum in that. Most of you, that's not going to be where you find your satisfaction or where you make your impact and your income and in doing it that way. A lot of times things aren't even working for you because you're not aligned to do it that way that they are doing it. And you just haven't figured out the right way to do it. But let me say to you, that right way is here and it's coming. And this is the time where you're going to take time out to get present with that and ask, what are my most effective ways to show up as a service provider in being able to offer value and do it through the vehicle of expression of selling. Selling is a gift, and I'm going to do uh, another training, uh, a follow-up on, on that, of having the gift to sell. And when you understand that it is a gift and it is a calling, it changes tremendously how you see sales and how you show up. So they basically stay tuned for that particular video because I'm definitely going to bring that soon. But on the note of going back to effective selling, you have to start asking yourself, where do you need to debunk certain myths? Because there are certain things around the aspects of selling that you don't necessarily buy into or you don't find them to be, you know, as faulty, or so to speak. So you have to understand what are you here to debunk, if anything, or just move past whatever is out there and just do your own thing. That's the best uh, advice or piece of advice in the sense that I can really offer you is that's how you're going to be authentically, uniquely you is by discovering that. So I want you to take time out, right? Take at least five to 15 minutes out even today if you can and just get present with that and ask what are the most effective ways that you can show up for, for selling? What's your unique way? And when you find that unique way and that unique alignment, it's going to be, it's going to feel right to you. And you're going to feel like, yes, I, I can do this. And you can move forward even with the copy that you have, the marketing copy, the different opportunities and things that you've put together. Maybe you will tweak it a little bit, but you'll, you'll feel more confident to, to put it out there and to ask when should you actually put it out there and just how you should go about it. The things we fail to ask most of the time, just randomly doing things and wonder why things aren't working and then afraid. But going back to what I said, and I'm going to close this out, don't repel sales, okay? Don't repel sales because they're ready to come. They're ready to flow to you. But if you don't have yourself in the right position mentally and vibrationally in your beingness, they will bypass you. And people will continue to go to others whom they really don't necessarily want to go to. But because they can't sync up with you or make the connection, they go other places. So again, don't repel sales. Don't be afraid of them. Embrace your, your gifting as a service provider. And know this is, part, uh, this is part of what comes with being in business. And you can't deny that. And you can't escape it. Otherwise, you're not going to be making um, the profit that you need to actually be considered a business. So I look forward to bringing more um, videos of this nature to you. Also, there's a playlist that you can avail yourself to if you haven't seen the other videos within this series. But I'm going to encourage you to, to take advantage of those, um, those videos and what I share in those so that you can be fully empowered and feel confident and competent to move forward in effective selling um, during this season of your entrepreneurship.